good actual morning. I've left the house and it is quarter to midday. It's a massive achievement. The weather, however, has returned to March madness. Hey ho. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. One pound daffodils, doing well. Look, it's spring again, so we're going out. Well, the blossom has been brutally removed from that tree due to the wind yesterday. We're going to go and see if we can finally visit Q Market. It hasn't been going for six months and we haven't made it yet. Rhubarb. This is the towpath walking down from Kew Bridge. Have a look at how small this front door is. Yeah. <laughs> Final lizard update, there he is. Oh. There's oh. Scale. Scale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> it's the Jason Donovan gnome. Donovan gnome, wasn't it? Scary. And that's a banana. And, and that and now he's got boobs. Is he boobs? My boobs. It's a lovely evening in Kew, however, the fact that I'm having to walk through Kew on a lovely evening because TFL sucks. They couldn't open the doors on the last carriage of the train, so everybody else, everybody else had to get out whilst they took the train out of service. I'm not impressed. I'm not showing my, you my not impressed face because it's that unimpressed. But seriously, what the fuck? Unbelievable. Oh well, at least I got 5,000 Avios from BA today for their gross negligence with handling of our baggage on the way to Venice. So, that's an improvement. That's a step forward. That's today's positive transport story. Kind of. Welcome to the lift where only moments ago Boris and Ken were shouting and swearing at each other. That is what has become of British politics. Woohoo. So my previous speakeasy adventure was cut short by the fact that the venue couldn't hold enough people. So this is where we're going a week on Wednesday. This is Rathbone Place and that is Borden Hollingsworth which is actually downstairs. It's not a shop for musical instruments. <laughs> In my well of one to be. So, speakeasy take two. Tell me that's not a hilarious name for a street. <laughs> Less so if your name's Percy, but there we go. Yeah, buy. Buy that. Um, oh, I'm not too. Sugar beet? No, sell. Uh, ah, port belly. Port, definitely port. Buy that. Buy. Um, by 10% of that company, Port Belly. Yeah, but. So this is famed voice on a stick and oh. um, Apple fanboy Neil Bentley with yeah, his new um, his new plastic phone. What? Can you show me your amazing, oh, this amazing technology? I've got my broker on the phone, don't we? He's from the 80s. Okay. Can you, um, you just stay there, I'm going to put this down. See ya. Come around, I'll show you my new um, 80s workstation. So here we got the um, the brand new iPad um, 80s retro workstation. It's not actually called that, but due to the fact everyone's taking the mickey out of me today, I'm going to try and make it sound cooler. Um, by, does it sound cooler if I say it like that? Yeah, it, right. it has a phone. 
Right, anyway, so there's the iPad. Yes. Amazingly disguised, right? You're thinking, oh my God, that looks like a, an amazing new netbook. But really, that's the iPad. Look, and it comes off. See? Yeah, it's Isn't on. There? It's held up by a small plastic hinge. Yep, very Apple. Yeah. And um, there's a plastic, um, beautiful, uh, ergonomic keyboard. <laughs> Stop laughing. Uh, look, and then you can use, instead of a mouse, you use your finger. <laughs> yes, right? you use the iPad's built-in oh mouse. Oh my god, Touch finger turn. mouse! Yeah. That's finger mouse. And, and, and like that, and then, and then when a phone call comes in. When does that happen? Oh, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> uh, hello, right, and then you answer it, just like any other normal phone. Uh, yeah, totally, like okay. a normal, and when you fold it flat, how does that work exactly? What, this flat? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so, so you take this out, right, this is all quite quick, <laughs> um, so like, I, I mean I take the charging, this is on yeah. charge at the moment, and I would take, I'll take, oh, I'm not going to take that out, no. I'll, I'll take that out, so, and then what happens is, um, you put this down, <laughs> hold on a minute, there you go, like that, Yeah. and then you have to put it in a certain way, because <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit very well, um, um, bear with me, I'm getting there. That's what I like about Apple design. It's how precise it is. Boom. And you wouldn't oh, even know. Move. You wouldn't even know you're holding an iPad. Right. It and, looks just like a laptop with a phone on the end. I could be a waiter. Like, oh, I'll just carry some drinks. Just Do you want to make a phone call with that drink? I Have can't that. because the iPad's now off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. But no, look, look at it from that way. Yeah, now it looks like the bottom of it. Amazing. I think this is really a revolution in technology. And um, Steve Jobs would be so proud. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to buy mine, it's uh, I paid forty pounds for it. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna sell it for five. <laughs> so... so it's a bargain. All right. Got to take a phone call. Good morning. It's a beautiful sunny day. It won't last. That's my optimism for the day. <laughs> now we're going out. It's Easter, so we're going to go and see Crystal's nieces. Whilst the weather's still good, and then tomorrow when it's rubbish, we're going to go and see my family. I guarantee you it'll be raining. So these are the daffodils I bought last week and they're still still going. Amazing. Anyway, um, we just went to get a look at Crystal's new car. She's just going out for the evening and to Clapham. So well, the new car will be here shortly um, and I have the evening to myself. Just me and some fizzy pigtails from M&S and some Assassin's Creed. So that's what's happening. <laughs> 